Good morning, good morning, y'all. We are here in, at the, actually at the Hollywood sign, and it's early in the morning, but I wanted to bring you guys here because this city is a city of intentions. It's a city of dreams. It's a city of hope. This Hollywood sign really does demonstrate everything that I'm going to be talking about, and that is setting intentions in your life, setting goals in your life, setting things, creating a vision board for yourself. This is right here. I mean, you look at that Hollywood sign, you think about how many people have moved to Los Angeles to fulfill their dreams of being an artist, a singer, an actor, a producer, a director, whatever it is. People come here every single day from all over the world just to be able to fulfill some kind of dream that they have. Now, you don't have to move to Los Angeles to fulfill dreams or to have dreams, but what I do want to talk about is setting intentions for yourself. This morning, I'm sitting here writing out in my book. Somebody gave me this awesome book, one of my artists, Harper Grusins. Um, if she ever watches this, I, I love this book. But writing out what my personal intentions are in my life. What is What am I setting for myself? What do I want in my life? You see, the importance of this is because the law of attraction is real. The law of attraction states and says whatever you put out is what you get. So whatever intention that you put out in the universe, that is what you get. So if you're focused on negative things, you get negative back, right? When you put something out there and you start to focus on it and that you start really bringing realization to your dreams, it is amazing what comes to you. Setting these intentions, I want you to be very specific in what it is that you want in your life. If you want something, are you wanting, uh, you know, are you wanting fame and fortune? Are you wanting financial gain? Are you wanting to be super wealthy? Are you wanting to be a doctor that is notorious for creating a cure for something or writing books and helping people. It doesn't matter what it is. Be very clear on your intentions. Are you wanting great health? Are you wanting to be a happy? Are you wanting to raise a family that is uh, a game changers in the world? Whatever that is, I want you to write it down. Write down, be very clear for goals that are short-term goals, long-term goals. I want goals that is for your family, if you're a parent, professional goals, personal goals. Write all of these things out because I promise you as you understand what it is that you are putting out there, you're going to be very clear on what you're getting back. So it's very important that you guys write this up. All right, I want to share with you my own personal journey of, of, of intentions and goals. You know, when I moved out here to Los Angeles in 2000, I came out here with hopes and dreams. I didn't really know exactly. I didn't have clear intentions. So I came out here and kind of did a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, I had friends who said, you're doing too many things. There's too, you know, what's going on and you need to focus. Everybody was like, you need to you know, focus on things. Well, you know, I was young and I, I just really just was kind of excited about doing all kinds of things. Now, things worked out really nicely for me out here. You know, I wasn't very clear on my intentions, so I didn't reach the amount of success that I really could have reached. And as time went by, as my years I was here, my intentions were to make money. Now, I've been successful at that. I've made good living out here in Los Angeles, but that is not my true intention in life. That is not my exact intentions. That's not really why I came out to Los Angeles. So, you know, I missed out on a lot of opportunities because I was not intentional. But for the last year and a half, I've really done a lot of soul searching, really digging deep into myself of what it is that I want. And basically, I've spent a year and a half of remembering what I was wanting, what I really wanted all my entire life, what my true goals were, my true intentions. And, I, you know, I got distracted like a you know squirrel, squirrel, you know, jumping around from thing to thing. But now I'm back to the basics of what's very important to me. And now I'm able to write out very clear goals. I mean, extremely clear. I mean, you look at this and I'm able to write out very specifics of what I'm wanting. Now, you know, this took years to be able to get to this level, but had I, had I listened to my first instincts and my first gut and had written down these things when I was younger, I wouldn't have had to spend 17 years chasing around things. Now, I truly believe the, that things happen for a reason, that this is the unfolding of my life and, and reason why I become an expert on helping people reach their greatness and being a branding expert and being able to read people's true essence of them 
I mean, that's just what I've been doing for 17 years out in Los Angeles, and I wouldn't be able to help you today the way that I am had these, not, these things not taken place. So they're very important that these things have taken place, but I may have had a shorter time frame that I done, had done these things had I written them down and had clear intentions. So I, I want you to write down what the short-term goals are. I want you to write down the long-term goals. I want you to write down what professional goals you may have, um, you know, what kind of financial gain. And I also want you to write what you want spiritually and your health-wise and your happiness and your the love in your life and the passion in your life. What are those things? Write them down, every single one of them. Don't hold back and I want you to create a dream board. Find a blank space on your wall and you write out every single one of those things. Take out you know cut out paper and put up there if it's that you uh want a mansion write that mansion up there you know if you want to drive amazing cars put that up there if you want to be in hollywood and reach your goals and your dreams put a big hollywood sign whatever it is go for it those are your dreams those are your goals those are dream boards those are the reason why they're so important is that you see them every single day. So be clear with those intentions. Be clear with your dream boards. Be very clear on every single thing that you want. And sometimes it takes time. It's something you add to on a daily basis. And then some things you take back because you realize that you really didn't want those things. So whatever it is, put it up there so you see it every single day. Guys, make sure that you watch these videos that are right here I want you to, to subscribe and click on that little bell so that you can get notifications when new videos go up please share these videos with people who need them that can help them go out and be intentional with see what I did I was just very intentional that I want you to subscribe so make sure you're clear with your intentions in your life so that you can go be a freaking rock star all right be blessed and have an amazing day